so excited to be standing with Joshua White along with Carmen and Steve. Uh, he is the bar manager at the brand new Death & Company that has just opened a new location in D.C. They're super famous with locations in Denver, New York, L.A., taking over the Columbia Room space, which is a beautiful location in Blagden Alley. Yeah, I love it. It's incredible. And yep. what are you whipping up now? Right now I'm making a cocktail off the new menu called a Daytona Sand. It has some sake in it, um, rum agricole, and uh, aloe vera liqueur uh, with some watermelon syrup and some lime. This is awesome. While you're putting that together, Josh, talk a little bit about the craft cocktail game because, you know, a, a lot of people, right, you typically, you start out in life, you go to the shot and beer bar and you're just like, I just want my drink as fast as possible. <laughs> so do you get people that come in and they're just like, man, why does it take us so long for my drink? And you're like, because I'm crafting I mean, cause a it's cocktail. A, it's a whole science behind it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, you, we're appreciating the cocktail, not just indulging and overindulging, I mean, you know, so. You're savoring rather yeah, than. Yeah, savoring. Quality, quality over quantity. Quality. Quality, yes, definitely yes. quality. That's how I like to drink as I get older. I'd rather go out and have one or two really nice cocktails and thoughtfully made drinks than a whole bunch of, you know, quick seltzers, right, Steve? I mean, it's got to be healthier that way, too, right? Because you're not throwing down all the sugar. Mm -hmm. um, it's interesting, though, because, you know, obviously we talk with a lot of chefs, right? And different ingredients pair well with others. Is it the same thought process when it comes to beverages? Yeah, definitely. You know, we, ooh, shoot, we try to take our time with it as much as possible mm -hmm. and um, just really think about the flavors that we want to capture and that way we can present it to the public in the best way possible. Now obviously Death & Co Company has locations elsewhere in the country. Are there any specific I'll drinks just for the D.C. market? <laughs> What'd you say? Are there any specific drinks just for D.C.'s Death & Company that are opening? Uh, this one right here is specifically yes. for the D.C. Oh, okay. This is the brand new. This is good. And the space you took over, you get a really unique experience in Blagden Alley. I can't wait to see how you've transformed it. When are you officially open to the public for uh, serving up some drinks? And obviously reservations, right? We will be opening very, very soon. Right now you can book reservations on talk. Nice. So you take reservations mm -hmm. to talk. Because this is not the type of an experience where you can just kind of wander off the street, right? Nah. It's I mean, yes, you can wander off the street, oh, wow. of course, yeah. You can? Yeah, definitely. Okay, okay. Right, you can come. wander off the street, come in, first come, first serve at the bar. So that'll be fun. Carmen, do you have a go-to drink or a cocktail or are you like a... So, you know, I work with a lot of athletes and they usually drink it straight. Okay. Uh, and then going, you know, on vacations where you've had a bad fruit, I'm real particular, so I'm usually like a tequila. Oh, or on the rocks. Savion Blanc. I don't mess with all the fruits and okay. stuff like Thank that. Thank you so much. So here's yes. our challenge then, Josh. If Carmen is like a tequila girl, what does tequila pair well with? What does tequila work best with? Uh, tequila. Oh, so I like my tequila by itself. So. Okay, so maybe we should. Yeah, I know. Maybe we should. But, uh, Carmen has lime. a gym day, so I'm going to pass this to oh, okay. Steve to yeah, cheers see, with me. And it looks cute. You could do you lime, you could do some citrus notes in there. Quick cheers. Uh, a little bit of orange, like Contro. So, like a margarita, right? Okay, so when I come, you're going to make the perfect tequila drink for me. Okay, first of all, 10 out of 10. This is an amazing drink. It's really good, right? It's so good. Do you know it's what? Balanced. It's bright I think you could do this with tequila, too. Mm -hmm. it, it has a little bit of the essence that goes, that, that it's light mm -hmm. and might pair with it. Well, it's, a take, it's actually a take on a classic uh, cocktail, a daiquiri. Mm. There you go. Joshua, I'm going to let you well? finish with Steve because we have to run back into the mm. kitchen, but i got to take one more big sip of this because this is <laughs> amazing. Or if, you, if, it take you, if you take it with us, we'll... we'll She's going to get an Uber home. I can't even talk about this. Joshua, I'm coming to visit. I look forward to seeing you soon. Back into the kitchen. This is really cool. When you talk about some drinks that you're putting on the menu for DC, I mean, this is perfect. You got, it's almost like a cherry blossom looking drink, too. We right? actually have a cocktail on the menu that's called a cherry bomb gimlet. Okay. So you should try that one. That's one of my favorites. We've got a couple of them. So what are you expecting as far as what, you know, when people come in for the first time, maybe they haven't been to New York or LA or Denver, they're not familiar with the company. What do you, what do you expect that they're going to pick up on as soon as they get there? Uh, they're going to have a lot of good vibes. This is one of, this is a very different Death & Co. So you okay. get some of the original vibes where it's like very dark and low lit, but we have a patio. Okay. So that's going to be like really bright, some plants and stuff like that. So the program might be a little bit different and, and, and a lot more fun. Just, and we should have said this up front, right? Death and Company has won like best bar in America before, so you, I mean it's like a it's it's a high bar, right? Yeah, that, it is. That they said so. Um, it's kind of cool that you're able to take that, adapt it for the DC crowd. Like you said, maybe get outside, enjoy a little bit of, but bring the cocktails as well. How many cocktails do you think you're going to offer? We're going to have 28. So three Ooh. of those will be non-alcoholic. Okay, and you're seeing more people go on the non-alcoholic route as well. Yeah, we want to give everybody the option. 
you know? So that way they can still come out and enjoy themselves and have a great time as opposed to just like feeling like they have to drink or they can't come in because they're not drinking. Right. And clearly it's a cocktail bar, high end, good drinks, food on the menu too? Yeah, there'll be some small bites as well. Fantastic. Well, you got to be excited about it. Congratulations yeah, it's gonna be on fun, the man. new opportunity for you. You're not going that far from Adams Morgan, right down the, <laughs> down the road a little bit. So at least you get to stay in the area. But I appreciate you coming in today. They'll be open soon. Go check them out down at uh, Blyton Alley. And uh, man, you guys are going to make some noise, no doubt about it. Yeah, well, definitely. Aaron left, but I'll cheers you. In the I'll cheers you too. I want to take a sip, but thanks, Josh. Thank I appreciate you. you coming in today. All right.